I was thinking about money. 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 And it might just be me. But maybe it's a forgery. Minted? Have you ever heard such a smoke screen of a word for something that is just printed? And if money is just printed, just a print, then deep down, deep down, we're all skinned. Skinned. We're all skinned. The past participle of to skin. Money thin skin. Imagination thin skin. Calculate thin skin. Limitless degrees of separ... Maybe I shouldn't be expressing such thoughts in a public place. I could end up in the courts with charges to face of treason for even suggesting there's a reason to believe legal tender is a poisonous printed paper pretender. Yes, I, I, I've... I've clearly misunderstood the situation, and it's a, it's a magical ritual incantation minting. Not just copying, just printing. And uh, we are all under its spell in this circulating whirlpool of a wishing well of buy, borrow, and sell. And please. Don't think that I would dream of making a comparison with the picture of Dorian Gray and the power of money expanding with each circulating day and its origin, now its servant, paralysed, silent, with nothing to say except buy, borrow, sell, pay, buy. Borrow, sell, pay. Just pay. Just pay. Just payments. Just wars. The imagination soars. To financial action scenes that Hollywood adores. Of money chasing money down narrowing corridors into merchandise stores. Good money chasing bad money. Money's cause. While money makes money, we are awash with coincidence. It's often said that with a big lie that it's not visible just to the naked eye, but banks and their governments are long and elaborate con. Hmm. I mean, they're not dissimilar to the religious one, except gods are in stories we told and money is telling our story in continuous unfold. Money is not worth the paper that it is printed on. Is that a bit strong? Okay, money's worth more than the paper that it's printed on. Well, that sounds like a con. Money's worth more and less than the paper that it's printed on. Well, that's a contradiction. But money is worth more and less than the paper that it's printed on. How can what something is worth be more and less than what it is? Well, by the way, this isn't a quiz. Though I must ask... When and where did we decide what money is worth? Maybe money isn't of this earth. But how did it get here? And where did it come from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I have got some. Science. Fiction. Maybe that's at the heart of this contradiction. Religion and its royal refrain in a coalition with the banks and their government's domain circulated a calculated faith of measured mystery. 
and money took a slash and made a splash on the stage of history. A golden shower. Mouth agog. A steaming fog of class war. And the judiciary, money's friend, amended the Christian law on crucifixion. Because though the Industrial Revolution, according to science fiction, was a mass alien conscription, where we were the new alien race with the new machine face that did not know our place, the evidence suggests it was more like a genocidal crucifixion where we were treated worse than cattle work to the bone until the oh so premature death rattle. Men, women, children in toil worked until the blood began to boil and serum builds up in the perineum sac just like the Christian saviour's heart attack and a transubstantiation of almost an entire population. And money rose on the third day and we were free to work for money and to pay, pray, pay, pray, pay, pray, pay, pray, pay, pray, pay. When money makes money, it doesn't give a toss with coincidence. The money could not have got off the ground if we'd continued working for free. Serfdom had to be abolished along with slavery. Because, well, who would have bought what we made if we hadn't been paid for the pleasure of turning this earth into money's treasure? Though now what we earn is of little concern, is by the by. Because there is to borrow and to borrow and to borrow and all our yesterdays could have lit us to another age. If the credit card and the mortgage had been the rage before 1883, there'd be no need to abolish slavery. It could have been expanded on the grounds of discrimination to include 99% of the nation. When money makes money, we are at a loss with coincidence. It's the siren on the rocks you see, money. It came as a shock to me, money. It put the mock in democracy, money. But now I understand what they mean by liquidity, taking the piss, money. The theory and the practice, money. Speculation, speculator, money. The genuine minted ballot paper, money. It's voting hand we, in frustration, try to hold and shake with such adulation, creating scenes of slapstick capitulation and futility and size of futility and incredulity because <clears throat> it's only by chance that you can shake and hold that which has no visibility yet has a grip like drying cement when hand in oh, glove with Government. Ah. Money begs questions. With a homeless hand that when closed can feel the speculating interest rate shifting sand that buried the careful lifelong security plan. Now refuses to even try and shake the invisible hand. It has its own speculations. Gah. 
hand. When money makes money, we are awash with canned incident. Religion and its royal refrain. Now eclipsed by the banks and their government's domain. No trumpets heralded in this money reign, but a busy imperial concrete abstraction of limitless gain. Concrete abstraction. Abstract concrete. Well, feet. Say, on a sacred golden statue made of clay. Say, government by possession of the people's fear for their possessions in spiralling repossessions of recurring recessions. Money can't learn lessons. Money doesn't need to learn lessons. Money is more <laughs> or less. Money. More or less. Money is more money or less money. Money is numbers, more or less. More numbers, more money. Less numbers. Money numberless. Mm. Mm, that would be something to confess. That would be <laughs> that would be a broken spell on earth. We wouldn't know what what was worth or what worth was what or was worth what what was worth what 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 was worth worth was what 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 was worth what worth was worth what 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 was worth worth was what what was worth and worth worth was what what was what was worth worth. GDP, simple as one, two, three, A, B, C, do, re, me, GDP, gross domestic product, <laughs> a measurement of output in a particular place, <laughs> the input, mm. oh, right. I can't quite put a name to that, um, you, 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 the subversive we, the hidden collectivity, the we that dare not speak its name in this isolating, hidden money game. When money makes money, we <laughs> are the loss with coincidence. As I said, it came as a shock to me that money put the mock in democracy. But then to realise this is more like some kind of theocracy. Money, debt is the original sin now, which we are born in. A transition of transgression did transpire. The shadow of the skyscraper shaped like a spire. Towers of power. Towers of debt, spiralling nowhere, never to be met. No longer this also oh weak and wicked fleshful skin, the source of the sin without origin. Which now you can buy shares in. My flesh is weak. But not as weak as my credit rating, which makes it a little bit difficult, internet dating. F U C K. So yesterday. F U C C me. For unlawful carnal knowledge becomes for unpaid credit card. You just have to pronounce that last C a little bit hard. No longer is there required clergy sermons ringing in our ears. There are much more profitable insecurities and fears for us to realise through the scripture of the advertise. Money begs questions with an empty stomach 
blurred concentration of the child's attempted separation of the words from the page. A self-fulfilling whispered rage behind the scenes of inadequacy stage. Oh, but that the words could draw tears onto that page and that child could walk onto that stage and with eloquence make real that rage. Money begs questions, like it hasn't eaten all day. I will do my impersonation of money begging questions, if I may. Money begging questions, one of the most difficult mimes in the book. Often mistaken for being forsaken and mistook. Being mistook and forsaken should not be mistaken for being lost whilst orally taken. O oh Father, why hast thou forsook me? Is a biblical loss in translation that the clergy should have been given a clear and unequivocal clarification. <laughs> But faith and trust in banks like a church <laughs> neither has a conscience to search. Both live and breathe the same spirit, an abstraction without limit. Eternal credit line, faith and numbers combine, cloud nine financial instrument design. And another miraculous transubstantiation without a shred of a shroud of fabrication through the credit default swap incantation. Derivative sin without origin. Spinning, investing, vested veil. Now our debts like our sins are up for sale. Spend. Transcend, spend and send. Spend, spend, fend, spend and condescend. Spend and blend. Spend and mend. Spend and spend and you send, spend and I send, spend and you send, spend and I send, 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 spend, 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 Imagination skin, thin, circular, kin, thin skin with limitless degrees of separation. Is that what we're bandaged in? Bondage. Band bondage. Bond bandage. Bondage. 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 You say bondage, I say bandage. Let's call the whole thing off. When money makes money, we are awash with coincidence. Oh, I think I'm suffering from sham shock. Mm. It's a condition you get when you've been lied to a lot. It's very common in a sham shockery of a democracy that's more like a theocracy where the debts a sins to the churches of money, which is <laughs> topsy-turvy and funny because if money, this imaginary spirit, the banks have and the governments have without limit, where 
is the time and the space and the place for the human spirit. That which thrives when yours is mine and mine is yours and flowers in the beauty of a common cause. Let's unhinge money's doors and make these scary towers that are scary powers ours. Let's pauper faith and beggar belief and make our own relief from this money thief, this money state that flies the self-interest reared higher than a kite where the real unwritten right to life and liberty is money makes us free. Money makes us free. Money fakes us free. Freedom is lived in the fabric of our interaction, not the grip of numbers, expansion or contraction, and the reaction to the movement of a fraction of a percent. <laughs> like a frightened animal's scent. You fill up my senses like a man in war. Is it a contradiction for freedom to have a fate? Not in a money state. A money state is a criminal caper. And the smoke screen is the ballot paper. Because this periodic ability to vote is just a variation on the sacrificial goat. Except the trick this time is we are meant to be the gods to appease. Please. Democracy to money is similar to a disease. The further freedom is pulled away from the ability to pay, there lurking in the shadows is freedom's doomsday. If democracy symptoms ever come anywhere close to red, a world about to dawn, black, Democracy will find itself like an unwanted puppy in a river in a sack. When money makes money, there can be a boss with coincidence. Money made Hitler and his like, not just their fear and loathing of the disabled, unemployed, gypsies, travellers, Jews, Money had the right to, and it did choose. Hate can't fund an election campaign. Money did, and money will, no matter how cruel, inhuman, and insane. And do you think money's changed? Well, it looks and it tastes pretty much the same to me. And it doesn't give a fuck, you see, about the practice of democracy. When money makes money, there can be such a cosh with coincidence. Poetry treats money like a bad smell. <laughs> nothing rhymes here, there's nothing to tell. Money treats poetry in a nutshell. Just ripples on a wishing well. Experiments are being carried out on this universal equivalent known as cash. Scientists are circulating its particles at high speed and letting them crash. And in the core of the aftermath of this collision, there is an interesting vision. Anti-money is real. It's qualities. It's something you can touch, something you can judge, and something you can feel. Now the banks and their governments 
I'm a little bit concerned about these experiments because under the microscope, it turns out that the majority of anti-money is matter and energy and some other stuff. And there is enough to clothe, to feed, to house and to educate every man, woman and child on this earth. Enough as enough, not some comparative abstract equivalent worth. Now, I know anti-money sounds funny, but to us unscientific folk, well, gravity was just a joke. Until we learn how to fly. When money makes money, we are awash with coincidence. Maybe this game of equivalence is going to have to be redefined. Because it turns out the earth does mind. The equivalent becoming the real. Because then the earth is just the notional part of any deal. The bag and basement, flood damaged, fire sales steal. And the real is... And the deal is... Our equivalent fueled actions are not even fractions of a percentage of numbers on a screen regurgitating abstraction over and over for the sake of extraction of more to the power of more. What is money for? Who is money for? Who is money for? Hold on, hold on, hey, you say. Surely it's just a means of exchange. It's nothing to estrange us. It's just a way to rearrange us. But the history of rearrangement through this convention too numerous to mention has given it more than a bad name. Well, what can you expect without conscience, without honour, without shame, and still the poor to try and blame? There's a crisis in the brand. Money. Offshore and on land, honey. So, to the rebranding of this ambivalent relationship of not such a long standing. There'll be an opening ceremony, of course, that goes without saying. The televised depiction of the history of our paying, paying for everything that's always already been ours. Is that the sound of more showers? Filling this whirlpool of a wishing well of buy, borrow, sell, buy, borrow, sell, buy, borrow, sell. There is a dictatorship of accumulation to be overcome. With an ideology that the parts do equal the sum. Maybe this banking, government's money is the last dark art of creating the illusion of keeping us together or keeping us apart. Hold on, I hear you say. Surely we're all under money's spell in each circulating day. Hmm. But some of us are more spun against than spinning. Banks and their governments are like churches creating sin for the sinning. 99% to be almost precise at the mercy of the loaded money dice. Money is just numbers for our waking slumbers to repeat like sheep to help us sleep while we work. Without these numbers, 
what a silence there would be. And in that silence, could we be free? Could we be heard? Would that be the real beginning of the word? And the word would be ours. And the words would be the only bonds. God's or faith. Which came first? The water or the thirst? Well, we are kind of 90% water. So our thirst is water and our water is thirst. And we are all, all human. So can we, the 99%, overcome this money as the innocent and quench each other's thirst? And these money bonds burst. <laughs>